shifting into a Kaja now. Understandably, whenever you will want to, uh, whenever you have a Zask, you will want to play a little bit more pick off, especially since since you can ramp up the damage coming from the Death Ray. But the, uh, this is completely right and it's going to the right way that I was expecting. Ooh, the Flicker, Divine Judgment gonna find a heart of implosion a bit too late, but Zaman Force comes out next. Can he escape? No, Dominator is said, finishes him off. First blood gonna be claimed by Sanji. Sanji now gonna need to escape from Udil, who's taking a lot of damage. Oki Shadow Kill gonna finish off the Valentina, and the Daily Cast comes out, not gonna find Carl, who is right on top of him. Oh, zone, going to miss completely, and Maul will pay the price. Triple kill for Carl TZ, and make that another. The 5v5, as... even though it was basically all players in the top lane, and now once again, Penalty Zone gonna be launched down, the Divine Judgment cancelled, JP gonna be the first one down, Deadly Catch not gonna stop the turtle, being stolen by Carl TZ, as Homeboy's now gonna be whittled down slowly, already a double kill for the Hayabusa once again. So it gonna have about a total of 3.5 thousand gold lead. Udil trying to do some damage. Implosion going to be used here. Not going to be enough from Benny Cutie. Oh, very effectively. He will wipe out every single one of these waves. Oh, and down at the bottom, unfortunately, be being able to get one. Up and Udil got pulled as well. Divine Judgment. Already two players dead on the side of Homeboys. Don't fight out. Take the tier ones and you can't do anything about it. And we can really see that. It feels like homeboys are floundering in the water. Oh, what? Oh, I think the lane, maybe a misposition. Sanford gonna get scouted out, taking quite a lot of damage. Already down the Palt HP. Gonna pop the Primal Wrath, make use of that passive. Penalty zone finds two in the back line, but no follow up. Amal gonna be able to secure the turtle with the deadly catch as Sanford is finally finished off. JP now left all by himself, and homeboy secures their very own They're double. Encroaching into the later stages where the Lord Eventually comes out. Carl Teasy with the Sky Piercer proc gonna solidify the Carl Teasy. Clearly the carry of the implosion. Gonna find JP before he gets the divine judgment. Maul gonna be able to walk away. Never mind. Legendary from Carl TZ once again. Amal gonna be finished off by the nearest passion. And Liquid PH continues pushing forward. But Metz has popped his Zaman Force, doing quite a lot of damage, finishing off JP in the meantime. Carl TZ in the back. Looking for a yeah, tree. Snipe finds it. Sky Piercer procs once again. Ten teams do still have to be somewhat careful, but I do feel like hold on. Flicker or Shatter gonna find the onward onto the bane. Right into Bennett's rage. Not enough to finish off a Mal Carl TZ will put a stop to that. Legendary streak continues. JP dropping low. They won't be able to finish him off, but they do find Benny with the Zaman Force. And now JP gonna be chased down by Nets as well. In the meantime, Carl TZ in 1v1 with yeah, tree in the back line. Gonna get that win. Double kill for the Hayabusa once again. And a win from Udil on the sideline, but Carl TZ is on a rampage. Oh! The Flicker misses! Ness does not get over the wall, and that's gonna be a maniac for Carl TZ. He wants the Savage. Oh, Can he get it? That's a Savage there, ladies and gentlemen. Carl TZ! Amount of lead. Oh, Carl TZ looking for Udil. He does so much damage. Udil's just gone. The Valentina is so not... onto Udil. Maybe. <laughs> Hold on. Flicker Divine Judgment gonna find one. That is yeah, three. Penalty Zone comes out. Whips once again. Deadly Cash not gonna do anything either. As Team Liquid are just pelting homeboys from outside their base. Only Net surviving. Being slowed down by the Nim Eric Spawn. Oh. Doing a lot of damage. Oh, oh, he gets the shutdown. The 16 kill shutdown. And we're going to miss Run Runners as well. Dominator's descent gonna be stolen by Udil to zone the rest of Liquid away. But Sanford and JP aren't giving up on ending the game right now. There's still one minion left. They're looking to end this. They find Nets! Killing spree for Benny Cutie. Udil has to defend. Another couple of seconds before the rest of the homeboys comes up. A knife flicker earth shatter. But Udil by is Liquid Philippines. This could be the end of game one. Flicker Divine Judgment finds the bane. Amal's just gone. Mega kill for Benny Cutie. Meanwhile, Carl Teasy comes in from the side. Ogi Shadow Kill dropping all of homeboys so low, so fast. Udil is already gone. Implosion comes in from Maul, but there's no one to follow up on it. They're already dead, and so is the Crystal. Liquid Philippines will clear game one with no sweat at all. I gotta have to say, this game definitely seems pretty darn easy. But Cho, what do we think about this Cho? I have not seen Maltz play Cho very often, very so I'm often. not too certain about his That's overall good skill level. I'm poking it. already. While, while I personally haven't seen a lot of Mal playing Cho recently, I also have to note that I haven't seen a lot of Mal playing at all recently in the first <laughs> place. So my memory could not be what it used to be. And once again, we see JP getting pulled in. Alpha charge. Ooh. First blood by Amal instantly. Tempest the place being used by Carl TZ. And dropping Homeboy's really oh. low. And the e Immediate double for grasp of that priority for themselves. 
Charles Easy gonna be focused here again. Maul doesn't have level 4, but JP gonna be pulled forward once again. Carmilla, definitely a hero that Zeus can abuse. The Udil gonna be forced to use ultimate since he is very deep in. Actually chasing JP down, gets the kill. Netherrealm a little bit too late, but enough to get rid of Udil. Sanji gonna take some damage. Earth Shatter gonna stop homeboys from advancing. And now they're gonna wanna look to back off and peel here. Sandford pops the primal wrap out for charge. Gonna CC him once again. Maul doing a good job, gonna trade his life for that, but ends up giving Sanji the killing spree. Three kills on the Faramis. Feels like they're overstaying their welcome, homeboys, that is. And they pretty much will have been looking at Sanford just peeling for the team crazily. Ooh, Sanji doing God's work right now. Gonna be able to get the final hit with the Shadow Stampede. He may pay for it. Nope. He walks out with literally a empty health bar. Even rejoins the fight to make sure they're able to take the turtle. He oh, gets Sanji! it! Sanji! The oh, man. man! Showing that you don't need help to contest the objective at all. And the rest of Liquid just walk away. Looks like they'll be able to pick up JP. Wait, if the dragon lands, pulls him back. Not enough damage, but they will finish him. At least the we were asking about the question. Do they even have enough damage? Someone, we want to see the battery going on. Maul gonna get pulled over the wall once again. Sanford gonna get I'm Offended over the wall as well. Nether Realm gonna be used. So is the Zeus in Alt. Call Casey comes to join Alpha Charge. Amal not able to get over the wall, so he gets knocked up. It is absolute chaos Ooh. here in the river, but Sanford gonna trade for Amal. And now Call Casey gets free reign to jump into the back line. Gonna be able to dash away just barely. Yeah, three getting movement speed. Not enough to chase him down. to do that. Now the next question. Oh, hold on a second. Yep. Do Sanford. Oh, Sanford gonna get pulled in. Nether Realm gonna be used once again. Homeboy's not in a good position for this. Yeah, three gonna be the first target. Immediately picked off monster kill for Sanji. Ness in the front line with the Zaman Force doing some good damage, but is it going to be enough? Sanford gonna need to flicker out, but gets caught by the way of the dragon, and there's no more Nether Realm, so they will finally punish the Edith. Mal now has to run away. Benny gonna dash forward with the BMI, picks him off. Turtle now gonna be the target of Liquid. They are beautifully balancing aggro and juggling homeboys as Amal gonna fall victim again. Turtle stolen by Carl. Easy, and he gets a double kill on top of that. This man built up the Radiant Armor. You are not in the slightest afraid of this Juicin. Nets gonna take some damage. Carl Teasy targeting him. Tempest of Blades comes out. Nether Realm so that they can dive the tower. Godlike streak for Carl Teasy. <laughs> yeah, Tree not gonna make it in time to save them. Just gonna try to defend the tower. Uses I'm offended to clear the wave. But he is stuck 1v4. Udil too far back to protect him. That's a free tower on top of three kills. Friends. At eight minutes is pretty big though. You can see Udil still being annoying. Oh, nice I'm offended onto two members. Sanji dropping low. Shut down on a Pyramid before the Nether Realm is available. Primal Wrath, not gonna save Sanford. This is a chance for homeboys. But look oh, at the blazing to it! He is doing so much damage! Benny Cutie just fillets the homeboys like they are the most delicious piece of meat they've ever seen. A double kill for Carl Teasy. He's looking for Udil. He's jumping in again. Wants to contest the purple buff right after getting the Lord. They'll get it too. Curse of Blood. Blood. Zoning out homeboys. Flicker Earth Shatter. Primal Wrath comes out. And Carl Teasy just jumps straight in. Blazing to end. Nether Realm. Liquid is not being punished for this at all, but Sanji and Sanford will eventually get finished off. Carl, you probably don't want to go. The red base right now is huge, and we can see just how much of a net worth difference they have in total. Homeboys just have no items, and we can see that. I'm a man that pulls Sanji in, but he doesn't care. He's got Nether Realm blazing oh, duet just dismantles the back line. Homeboys disintegrate. Think about <laughs> this. They're trying their best. Call once again on top of net. Zaman Force used defensively. The last inhibitor gonna be taken out, and Tempest of Blades will finish off Maul on top of it. Homeboys can do nothing! But what as gonna Liquid take some damage gonna try and pull it away, but homeboys really just don't have a solid little front line to do so. Maul gonna, not gonna find anything yet. Three gonna immediately nice engage a nice catch, but Nether Realm gonna be used with the blazing duet to just again cut through the homeboys. Sanji and Sanford have already bit the bullet, but Liquid, they just clear it up. It's a wipeout. It's no problem at all. Triple kill again for Carl TZ on top of a monster kill by Benny. And we can see that Liquid is just too much for the homeboys. Oh, I see that. Winner crown fool coming in from Team Liquid BH. They know. They know. They know that they get